Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> oh no, this thing is so stupid. Why do I need this? Oh yeah, because it's a load of crap behind it. Oh, excuse me. Ugh. I'm just the one right here. How embarrassing. <laughs> channel let me know what you guys think about the lighting in here because I got some natural going on well I'm not gonna have this anymore hopefully by the next two videos I'm gonna have something cute behind me something that's gonna reveal my personality and what I want to betray on my channel because I'm honestly sick of filming on this how close do you feel to me right now like angle wise Feeling it? Feeling it. Today I'm super excited because if you know and you follow me on Snapchat where I post pictures and videos like this, and if you follow me on my Instagram, you would already know what this video is going to be about. I decided I'm going to be trying these new lippies. I'm so pumped because I've had my eye on this one by L'Oreal. I wanted to pick up like two dramatic colors so that they for sure show up on camera. Maybelline Color Jet and Violet Rebel. And then this one is called L'Oreal Infallible in Navy Spy. Which I'm so excited about this one. I mean, come on. I really want to wear this one today if it ends up looking phenomenal like I think it's going to be because I got the dark smoky eye I'm wearing black I want to go out with like a dark navy lip like come on oh I'm gonna do a first impressions I don't know how I'm gonna do this because it is two different brands and I know you guys want to see how long they last so what I think I'm gonna do I'll save the best for last go ahead and do this one we're gonna figure out how long it stays on the applicator my thoughts what we looking for here well, the color jolts lip paint goes where no gloss has dared gone before packed with 1000 watt shine will truly electrify your surroundings they only have eight shades and this guy has 12. I wanted to do a video with them together because they are both lip paints that came out around the same time. I've had my eye on this guy for sure and I was like, let's do a comparison. I'm going to go ahead and apply this and I did exfoliate my lips beforehand so that we won't get any flakes. Packaging wise, they both have squeezy tubes. But I know that this one has a pull-out applicator and this one does not. Let's go ahead and see what we got. Oh, and it looks like because I was squeezing it that it already came out a little bit in the container. So this one is a little tiny doe foot applicator. It's very bad for germs, but we will move on with our lives. I'm going to squeeze and it's supposed to get very high pigmentation. I know that these guys aren't really known for lasting as long, but we'll figure this out. Oh, I always get so nervous. Okay, here we go. Ah, ah, I love this color. Oh, my girl. Formulation's a little dry, not sticky. And the color to me kind of goes on patchy. Don't you guys think? I don't know if you guys can tell, but I have like darker parts on certain areas on my lips and I did exfoliate them so I know that I don't have any dry patches. Oh my gosh though, I'm loving this color. And it's showing up more pink on my camera, like magenta. It's definitely like a, it's like a violet, like for sure. I'm gonna put one more layer on. I don't know where you go. Oh my god. Oh my god, I love this color. Wow, I really like this color. I did not think I was going to like this that much because their color selection was so limited and I was like, I don't want nudes and I didn't want an orange and I was like, I guess I'll just go with this one. That's why I'm so surprised because I like this a lot more than I thought I would. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but there are areas that are more purple pigmented than the others, like right here here and then like here and then it's like more sheer and lighter here and like almost everywhere else so it definitely goes on a little patchy I think the formulation of that needs to be worked on color wise obsessed and it almost just feels like a very nice comfortable like 
like glide on the lips. It's not sticky at all. Yeah, I am actually pretty impressed right now. It's not drying at the moment, so I am going to come back in a couple of hours. I'm gonna go eat some lunch because it is quarter till three right now. Okay, I'm gonna come back. We're gonna figure this out on how long it lasts, how well it does with food, if it gets dry. It's only been almost an hour. It's about 3.40 and I just ate and I wanted to update you guys because as you can see it's like pretty much gone. I have like a little bit left. I was eating chips and it was still looking great through all that and then I just went into a hoagie and it was over. I checked my uh, Snapchat and I was about to take a, a picture or a video and I was like um where did my lipstick go? <laughs> Well, I'm gonna go ahead and put one layer on on myself, and I'll check back with you guys. It looks like, oh, it just looks so pretty. It smells good too. It smells like bubble gum. My little one just woke up. I'll be back in about an hour and a half. Bye. Quarter till five. I'm gonna give you guys a quick little update. I'm gonna switch to L'Oreal Infallible Paints because I'm about to leave to go to Hobby Lobby and I really want to put this on. It all stayed on pretty evenly, actually. It's like it evened itself out. Very impressed with this, but I'm gonna share my final thoughts at the end. I'm gonna take this off. And I'm just using a wet wipe. It only stained my lips like a little bit. Nothing terrible or crazy. So again, this is L'Oreal Infallible Paints in Navy Spy. Know that this one, the applicator comes off versus this one is on the actual bottle. <gasps> ah! Comes out, looks like that. Nice little applicator. It has almost like a cut little crease right there where it's like Perfect to lay on your lips. The L'Oreal website says, Lacquer up lips for a bold color statement with L'Oreal Paris infallible paints. In one stroke, the designer applicator precisely diffuses vibrant, full coverage color for the lips for a comfortable wear. Let's see. I'm just kind of nervous. I'm coming! I'm coming! Melina's in her car seat. She's like so ready to go to Hobby Lobby. So let's do this. went on pretty lightly like I can still see my lip color through here I'm gonna put on another layer oh I look very dark I don't know how to feel with this color. I mean, I guess I kind of expected it, I think, because my eyes are like super smoky and dark. I'm just like, this is so dark of a lip color. I'm not mad though. I'm about to wear this to Hobby Lobby. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm going to go out looking all crazy with my smoky eye and my dark lip. Um, I think if I had to do it all over again, I would have chose a lighter eye combination so that my lips stand out and it's not like all darkness. Three minutes till five. I will see you guys with a little update when I get back from the store. I am inside Home Goods, and this this lipstick is completely fading. Like, and Melina won't stop touching my mouth. <laughs> Melina. Yeah, so it's hopeless. I'm actually gonna rub this off because I look ridiculous. It's not cute. It's patchy and it's basically off. I look really dumb. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you laughing? Oh, between me rubbing my lips together. And then her wanting to touch it, the color, I needed to take it off. I mean, it, look, it like stained parts. That's what I'm working with here. 
<laughs> you try and kiss me? Hey guys, so I'm back from the store. I changed into like a white top to see how this dark color would look. This went on for a couple hours after I left you guys. I felt like it was still very comfortable to wear as claimed. I felt like the longer I had it on, the more patchy. It started to fade in the middle. And that being because I was drinking out of a straw, I also vape. It started coming off in the middle and then the slowly disintegrating, which I didn't like. I felt so embarrassed being in that store and being a makeup person, I just thought I looked horrible. Overall, I would have to say that the formulations of these are different. This one, I think, is it's more moisturizing versus this one because I felt like even though it was comfortable for me to wear, I felt it slowly getting a little bit dry, but it never completely felt so dry that it was uncomfortable. I definitely think, I think this one is more moisturizing than this one. You have to layer at least two layers for both of these. Packaging wise, I thought this one was going to be better because I thought the packaging was much nicer looking, it's bigger, it gives more availability to pull this out versus just squeeze and putting it on. I thought that was nice. If I had to choose which one I would go buy another color in, I think I would go with Maybelline. Just because you just squeeze it and put it on your lips and it's so tiny you can fit it in like a wristlet. Versus this one's gonna take up some room. So I'm more about comfortability. I'm thinking realistically which one I would buy. It was pretty messy working with this applicator versus this one. This one's a lot smaller, so you can get all the way into the lines of your mouth. The only downfall about this, even though it is moisturizing and I love the color, it was never quite drying on my lips. I wish they had more color selections. Versus this one has a lot more variety, so hopefully Maybelline comes out with more colors. Even though I still am questioning if I'm a fan of this, let me know down in the comments. I wasn't feeling it in the beginning, and then as the day went on, I was like, hey, I can rock this. I think overall, Maybelline got it. Tell me down in the comments which one was your favorite if you guys have tried these out and let me know. So as you guys know, you saw I was in Home Goods and I went to Hobby Lobby so I don't have to have this background anymore. Well, I'm, my next video I'm going to film right now. Hopefully the lighting isn't terrible. I'm going to film what I got from those stores. I am so excited. I got pretty pictures and a pillow and a little table. I'm so excited. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys thought down in the comments. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoy first impression videos like I do. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! I love you guys!